rolling right along with number sense here. We're going to start talking about subtracting. We're going to do subtracting integers. Um, so here's the actual standard, NS1C, understand subtraction of rational numbers as adding the additive inverse. Now we talked about additive inverse. That's the opposite, right? So it's a, the number that makes it the opposite direction. Show that the distance between two rational numbers on the number line is the absolute value of their difference and apply this principle in real world, real world context. I always have a hard time saying that. Real world. Okay, so in chapter uh, 6.3, okay, that's what we're going to talk about. It's uh, subtracting integers. Um, so let's just dive right in. Um, we've learned to add integers, so let's talk about how to subtract them. Um, first, wh what is subtraction? What, what does this idea of subtraction mean? So... Typically, students will say something like minus or take away or um, <clears throat> uh, lower or something like that, right? Um, so really what it is, um, we're finding the difference, okay? We're going to find uh, the difference between two things or change, right? Think about when you go to the store, if you have a $10 bill and you buy something for $2, you subtract the $2 from the 10 that you had, right? You remove that and you get back what, you know, you get back the change. So you hand over a $10 bill, they keep two, and you get back eight, right? So um, that's one version of subtraction, okay? Now, you may have heard once upon a time that subtraction makes the number lower. Not always true, and you're about to find out why. Okay, so first, let's take a look at a couple of these, right? So we've got five minus three. Um, and if I'm going to look at this on a number line, right, if I'm going to say, take a look at this, I'm going to start at zero, okay, and I'm going to move up five, okay, move up to five. Oh, that didn't come from, okay, move to five, and then subtract three, okay, so subtracting three, that means removing three. Now, really what you're saying is I'm saying I'm going to remove or take away this three, well, the th I'm going to take away the three that was going up, right? So if it was five plus three, I'd go up from that. But this is saying, nope, don't go up. You're going to go the opposite way, right? This is saying go the opposite way of what normal. So normally I'd go up three. And now what it's saying is go down three, which puts me back to two, okay? All right. So what I could do with this is another way of saying this is go up five and then go down three, okay? That's another way of saying it, because I'm going up five and I'm gonna take away three. All right, that's another way of looking at it. I'm gonna come back to these in a second here and show you a second way of looking at these. And I'm not gonna expect you to do them both ways, but I want you to at least pick one of them and see which one works for you. Okay, four minus seven, okay. So this is one where somebody once upon a time told you that if you're subtracting, the bigger number always has to come first. I'm sorry, it's not true. The bigger number doesn't always have to come first. Um, you're going to get a negative value, right? So which way is this 4 going? This 4 is going up. Which way is this 7 going? The 7 is going down, okay, because I'm removing it. And so really what this is saying is I have a positive 4, right? And this is normally a positive 7, but we're going to remove the positive 7. So that's what it's going to say, go up to four, okay? And then I'm going to come down seven, okay? And that'll put me at negative three. So the answer here is going to be equal to negative three. Now, we also could have said this is the same as four plus, right, we have go up four, and then go down seven. So can rewrite it as a uh, as an addition problem. And typically what we'll do then is we'll put these in parentheses to say, okay, this is a down, right? I go up four and then go down seven, okay? And you can think of the plus, you know, addition as uh, saying, and then. All right, so here's another one. I've got negative three minus five, okay. This, just looking at this negative three, okay, this is a negative three, so it's going down. Just looking at the five, it's going up, but then I'm going to subtract it. So I'm going to go the opposite way is up. So let's start off. We're going to go down three. Okay, so we're going to start and we're going to go drop down to three. And then it says to go down five. Right, down three, then down five. Okay, 
So it's sort of like saying negative 3 plus a negative 5. Okay, And if you remember the wording of the standard, it said to add the additive inverse. right? So it's, you change this from subtraction, right? because what it's saying is here's subtraction. We're going to do the opposite. It's going to go the other way. Instead of adding this value, we're going to take the value away. So instead of adding 5, we're going to remove 5. Okay. Well, that's if I do change it into an addition problem, it's negative 3 plus. Okay, and it's got to be the negative five. It's got to show that this is actually going down. Okay, because otherwise it'd be negative three plus five, and I'd go up. Doesn't make sense. So in this case, down three, down five, down eight. Okay. So once you actually learn how to rewrite these, as long as you knew how to add integers, you can subtract them no problem by rewriting them as an addition problem. Okay. So <clears throat> let's try doing these again. But I'm going to show you a little bit different method, okay? So let's do this real quick. Erase these. Um, okay, so now let's take a look. Another way of saying if you look at this, right, this means difference. So what I would say is if I have 5 and I have positive 3, okay, and I say what's the difference between 5 and 3? Well, 5 being the first number is above 3, and it's 2 above 3, okay? If this is where, right, this one <clears throat> is 2 up from there, okay? Now, if this one doesn't make sense to you, then don't worry about it. But sometimes I've found that students like this version. They look at this and they say, oh, this is much easier, okay? So this one, I'm going to find where 4 is. Here's 4, okay? That's where my beginning, right? And then I'm going to subtract 7. So I'm finding, what's the difference between 4 and 7? Well, 7 is here. So 4 is below 7, and it's 1, 2, 3, right? It's got a change of, um, it's negative 3, 3 below 7. So 4 is 3 below 7. And then this one, I'd start out and I'd say, okay, well, here's negative 3, okay? And here's, and this isn't a negative 5, because what I'm doing is I'm saying negative 3, what's the difference between negative 3 and 5? This is the difference of, right? So negative 3 and 5. So what's the difference between negative 3 and 5? Okay, well, negative 3 is below 5, and it's how many below? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is 8, right? Negative 3 is 8 below 5. All right, so let's revisit this and pick one of the ways that you want. Um, don't worry about the green dot part, the yellow for subtraction. Don't worry about the dots part of there. I kind of switched this up at the last second. What I want you to do is I want you to uh, pick one of those methods and try to solve them on your own here, okay? So go ahead, pause the video, and try that. Go. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do these. Uh, I'm going to start off by rewriting this as an addition problem, right? So this is a negative 4. It's going down, and this 1 is going up, okay? But I'm changing this, so instead of it going up, it's going to go down. So now what I'm going to do is it says to go down 4 and then down another 1, which puts me at negative 5. Okay. Now let's try this one. I've got 1 all right, minus 8. So this is a positive 1. It's going all right. 1 is going up. And then I'm going to change this. So instead of subtracting a positive 8, right, I'm not removing, I'm not going up. I'm not removing 8. I'm going to go add a negative 8. Okay, change that. So then let's go ahead and we're going to go from 0, we'll go up to 1. All right, that's up 1. And then I'm going to drop down 8, All right, which is going to get me to negative 7. Okay, and then finally, let's do 3. This is an up 3, right? And this is 9 would normally go up, but I'm taking it away. So it's going down 9, right? So it's a 3 plus negative 9. So we're going to go up 3. And then we'll go down 9. And that gets us to negative 6. Okay, now I'm going to try it one more time. And I'll do the, the way of, uh, I'll show you using differences, okay? Um, 
Oops. Do this real quick. All right. So this one is a negative 4 and a 1. So I'm looking at negative 4 and 1. And we're saying negative 4 is how far from 1, right? How far? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 5 places. And negative 4 is below. It's 5 places below 1. Right. Here, start looking, starting at 1, okay? And then comparing it to 7, 8. All right, here's 8, positive 8. How far apart are these? Okay, well, they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 away from each other. And 1 is 7 below 8. And then finally, we'll do 3 minus 9. So I can put up, we'll put 9 here. I right? extend the number line here. And I'm looking at 3 and 9. Okay, and what? how far apart are they? They're 6 apart. Okay, and then 3 is 6 lower than 9. Okay, there you go. Hopefully this is making some more sense. Again, just pick one of those methods. Um, why don't you go ahead, rewrite these into, let's do this. Let's go ahead and, um, well, let's just walk through these, okay? So here we have 1 minus a negative 4, okay? So a couple different ways I can look at this. I'll do it both ways. One is, okay, normally what it says is if this was 1, right, this is going up 1, and this is going down 4. So up 1, down 4. Okay, up 1, down 4. But this is taking away, so I'm removing the negative, okay? Remember, this is sort of doing the opposite. If it's 1 um, minus 8, right, I go down 8. Well, this is already moving down, so when I do the opposite, if I want to change this, it becomes 1 plus a positive 4. All right, well then what I can do is I can just say, okay, up 1, and then up 4. Up 1, up 4, which is positive 5. Okay, now let me show you what this looks like with the part where we do the difference, okay? So let's say I'm trying to find what's the difference between 1 and negative 4. Well, here's 1, and here's negative 4. Okay, well, how far apart are they? Well, one, two, three, four, five. They're five apart, right? And one is five is above four. All right, so a couple different ways of doing it. Why don't you try doing the last two here on your own? Go ahead, pause the video, and you try. Okay, this one turns into one plus a positive five. All right, so I can go up one and then up five which gets me to positive six, okay. or I can look at it and I can say, what's the difference between one and negative five? Well, they are six apart and one is six above. Okay, same idea here. I'm gonna rewrite this, negative four, and this becomes plus, right? positive 3, okay, because I'm changing it. Instead of taking it away, I'm going to go ahead and add it. I'm going to give it to it, but then I need to reverse the, you know, change the, op the reverse the direction. So instead of going down, it's going to go up. So I'm going to go from, I'm going to go down 4, then up 3, which gets me to, right, uh, down 4, up 3, which gets me to negative 1. Now, let's look at this from the, the other, the difference. Okay, if I look at what's the difference between negative 4 and negative 3, well, here's negative 4, and here's negative 3. Okay, and how far apart are they? They are 1 away from each other, and negative 4 is 1 below negative 3. All right, well, I'm hoping that this is making more sense to you. You feel a lot more comfortable about it. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to take these, and I want you to rewrite these into an addition problem, okay? So take all of these and rewrite them into an addition problem. Uh, and bring those to class tomorrow, uh, and we'll check it in, see how you're doing. Okay.